In this demonstration, we are going to see how VXL's subject correct, subjective correction feature is able to help the teacher and become a co-pilot in evaluating the answer sheets pretty fast. Our tool will help in evaluating the right answers by spelling mistakes, punctuation marks and some sort of analysis around what the answer is all about. Let's see how this whole thing works. So what we are going to do right now is going to see a demo uh, of a test, right? So how do we create test in VXL? It is pretty straightforward. So VXL offers a huge question bank, varying questions from different kinds, like multiple choice questions, subjective questions, assertion reasoning kind of questions, paragraph questions, any kind of all sorts of questions that generally in CBSE and state boards ask for are available in VXL. Now let's see how this whole thing works. Let's start off by creating a test. Let's say we are creating a subjective uh, correction uh, demo, subjective demo by, okay, of social studies. Okay, let's let's take CBSE board, uh, sixth grade, ten marks, ten marks in questions for now. Click on next button. Select social as a subject. Select the chapter, the first chapter, what, where, how, and when. Select all subtopics select all complexity levels and say get questions. Now, so these are some questions. Let's choose some MCQ questions, multiple choice questions that student has to write. And now let's select some subjective questions that are already pre-filled and configured. So for each of the subjective questions, their answers are also configured in the platform. So all you need to do is select five of them and then click on next button, okay? You can adjust the marks and say create. So in a matter of like 30 seconds, we actually created a test paper, right? You can go take a printout of this test paper and give it, hand it over to students so that, you know, they can actually start writing the exam. And this is the interesting part. Once the students write the exam on the paper, on the um, paper, like, like this, right? Our tool will help them to evaluate this particular test paper with ease, right? So this is what I'm going to show you now. So now what I have here um, are five students, uh, four students, okay? Each of them having a roll number and uh, MCQs answered, first five MCQs, and um, the subjective questions as well, handwritten, okay? So our tool will try to understand what this answer is about. It belongs to eighth question and accordingly provide analysis, right? So uh, students can write it across multiple papers as long as there is a roll number and there is some sort of question number, the evaluation already happens. So let's see how this whole process works. Now I'll go back, now that we created a test, what we'll do right now is we'll go and kind of schedule this exam. So this is a pretty straightforward process, whether you do it in an online mode or an offline mode. Offline includes an OMR based evaluation or subjective evaluation. All are different channels for actually evaluating the exam paper. Now what I'm doing is I'm selecting 6A, select all the students, give a duration, right? And say schedule. Now, now that this exam is scheduled, you can go to schedule test to see that this particular subjective demo is available here, which is at 9.22 right now, just now we have created it. I'll go do a upload PDF, right? What is this PDF? This PDF is same as what we have actually created here, right? The social studies PDF. Now I'll go upload button, select on upload, okay? And then the processing starts. So you can think of this how, you know, a teacher takes these answer sheets back home and does the correction, right? They spend a lot of time. Now with this tool, the time reduces drastically and teacher is already provided with a lot of analysis. Like, let's see how this whole thing works. Now it has gone into processing state. If you see view answer sheet, this is, this is the answer sheet that I have kind of uploaded right now. So all this answer sheet is available. Okay, and you see there are strikings and all of that, everything is taken care, right? Now I go inside, do, do view more, and you see that, you know, there are um, students for which we have kind of analyzed it. So a couple of students actually passed, right? So I go to Niharika's paper here. So, and you see that this particular paper is already split for Niharika, okay? So this is the only answer sheet she has written, right? And the same is the case with Sonal here. So I go click on view PDF, and I see that this is only done for, by this particular student. Okay, now what we do is, and there are a couple of errors, it could be a roll number issue or it could be some some kind of admission issue or whatever. So we'll need to fix this problem. So for fixing also, we gave an easy way. So we can go ahead and edit this roll number and resubmit this again, okay? 
Now I go to schedule test once again and I'll go to view more to see that you know whatever are the uh, uh, analysis that is done right. So if you see these are the two students and this is kind of turned into not evaluated status. Now I go to Niharika's paper and click on evaluate here and I see that this is the answer sheet that she has written right and uh, this is the correction so if you see mcqs are automatically corrected c both is both is the correct answer so this mcq is automatically corrected and the mark is also provided okay we give an option for the teacher to put a comment if she wants to okay or else she can leave it there so all these three mcqs the number three is written somewhere down yeah here so all the mcqs are automatically evaluated for something that is not evaluated the marks are given and here comes the interesting part so for questions that are uh, attempted by the student, we kind of provide an analysis as to what they are, what are the grammatical mer errors, spelling mistakes and punctuations. Looks like if you see this, historians often use the word source to refer. So it is all converted into text and it is available here. Given that this question answer sheet is written by the student and these are the keywords that we expect the student to at least cover. So some of this is not available and some of this is available. Based on this, teacher can go ahead and provide the marks, right? And uh, if you look at the last question, the 10th question. So if you see, uh, for this one, we think ordinary men and women did not generally keep records. So this is the one. And if you see, there are certain mistakes here. So V, it has to be capital W-E. And uh, there are some spelling mistakes. It literal is not written correctly. So that spelling mistake is pointed out. Punctuation marks are pointed out and all the keywords information is pointed out. So with this information, teacher can go ahead and provide marks, okay? Whatever marks they want to give, they can provide it, okay? And then once they are done with it, they can go ahead and click on submit button, right? And they can also do this, they can also go ahead and annotate this PDF, like how they do in a physical exam, right? Some of this is right, some of this is wrong, she can provide some sort of comments, Right? This is this is not right. This is this is wrong, etc. Those kinds of comments can also be provided. Okay, uh, and um, you can go ahead and click on save button to save the annotations. You can also give a particular stamp, right? So very good stamp. Click on save, and all these comments are actually visible to the student as well, right? When they log into their platform, they'll be able to see this. I'll go ahead and click on submit button. So now that this particular thing is submitted. Uh, so it is now available and you see that the score is also given. I can anytime go to view result and see what the score is, what are the right answers, what are the wrong answers that is selected and any feedback the teacher has given is available here, right? And all the answers that they have attempted, not attempted is provided here, right? And what are the keywords that they have covered it, okay? So all this detail is visible and they can also see the raw answer sheet anytime, right? So they can see all the answer sheet, whatever is the information. Okay, so um, this is how the subjective correction uh, is like really made easy for teachers. It will help the teachers to go ahead and do these corrections uh, in a matter of no time. And there is transparency as to what uh, the teacher is looking for while doing the correction. Hope this will help improve teachers time drastically. Thank you.